step into the captivating world of the 1941 film adaptation of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, a cinematic gem that explores the duality of human nature with timeless resonance. As you delve into this cinematic classic, consider the enduring qualities that have solidified its place as a symbol of the film industry. What is it about this tale of transformation and internal conflict that continues to captivate audiences across generations? Before we explore further, let's reflect. Can you share a personal story of how this movie has inspired or impacted your life? Alternatively, ponder the question of what enduring qualities you believe make this movie an everlasting symbol of the industry. These reflections open a window into the profound and lasting impact of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde on individuals and the cinematic landscape. Now, let's set the stage with some intriguing facts about the film. Did you know that Spencer Tracy, in the titular role, delivered a performance that earned him an Academy Award nomination? Tracy's portrayal of the dual personalities of Jekyll and Hyde remains a masterclass in acting, contributing significantly to the movie's acclaim. The film, directed by Victor Fleming, skillfully navigates the psychological complexities of Robert Louis Stevenson's original novella, creating a cinematic experience that lingers in the minds of viewers. As we explore the depths of this cinematic journey, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Your stories and memories add a layer of richness to the tapestry of this film's legacy. We would love to hear your reflections in the comments below as your perspectives contribute to the ongoing conversation surrounding this cinematic masterpiece. Step back in time, experience the allure of classic cinema, and share your thoughts on Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Your voice adds to the collective appreciation of this enduring work. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, released in 1941, is a classic adaptation of Robert Louis Stevenson's 1886 novella, Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. The film explores the duality of human nature through the story of Dr. Henry Jekyll, a brilliant scientist who concocts a potion to separate his good and evil selves. As he transforms into the malevolent Mr. Hyde, played with chilling brilliance by Spencer Tracy, the film delves into the psychological consequences of unchecked desires and the struggle between morality and the darker impulses within. In this rendition, director Victor Fleming skillfully captures the atmospheric tension of Victorian London and delivers a compelling narrative enriched by Tracy's dual performance. The film's success lies in its ability to convey the timeless theme of inner conflict, captivating audiences with its psychological depth and moral inquiry. The legacy of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde endures, influencing subsequent adaptations and becoming a benchmark for exploring the complexities of the human psyche on screen. Its impact on popular culture is evident in the countless reinterpretations and references that continue to emerge, cementing its status as a seminal work in the exploration of human nature in cinema. Spencer Tracy's portrayal of Mr. Hyde in the 1941 adaptation of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde faced criticism for not being sufficiently menacing. Critics of the time found Tracy's performance lacking in the required fear factor, deeming him too American and rough to convincingly play an upper-class doctor in Victorian London. Interestingly, the pronunciation of the character's name, Jekyll, also diverged from the original. While the novella pronounced it as Jakely, the film popularized the pronunciation as Jakely. Tracy's challenges extended beyond critiques. He received a telegram from Frederick March, the star of the 1931 version, suggesting that March's performance as Hyde was consistently viewed more favorably than Tracy's. In a moment of vulnerability, Tracy confided to his friend Ralph Bellamy that he believed this role might mark the end of his Hollywood career after watching the final product. Adding to the intrigue, cinema trailers intentionally concealed Trace's appearance as Mr. Hyde, creating a mystery to entice audiences to return the following week to witness his transformation in the actual film. This marketing tactic added an extra layer of anticipation to the cinematic experience. Despite the challenges faced by Tracy, these aspects contribute to the multifaceted story surrounding the 1941 adaptation of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. The divergence in pronunciation and the criticisms of Tracy's performance highlight the intricacies of bringing a classic tale to the silver screen. 
The intentional marketing ploy with the hidden hide adds a layer of historical curiosity to the film's reception. In the annals of cinema, the 1941 Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde remains a notable chapter, not just for its exploration of human duality, but also for the challenges faced and choices made in bringing this timeless narrative to life on the big screen. Spencer Tracy's commitment to the role of Mr. Hyde in the 1941 adaptation of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde went beyond the screen. Eager to immerse himself in the character, Tracy turned down James Stewart's role in the Philadelphia story just to begin filming promptly. Despite initial concerns about Tracy's age, at 41, to play Jekyll, his dedication to the project prevailed. An intriguing anecdote adds another layer to Tracy's immersion into the character. At Clark Gable and Carol Lombard's second wedding anniversary party, Tracy showed up wearing his Mr. Hyde makeup. This incident underscores Tracy's deep connection to the role, blurring the lines between the actor and the character he portrayed. In the film itself, a curious discrepancy in the original theatrical version raises questions. After Jekyll's transformation into Hyde, there's a pivotal moment where he confronts his altered reflection in a mirror. However, in later TV prints, certain lines questioning his changed face are inexplicably missing. The reason behind this omission remains a mystery, leaving audiences to speculate on whether it was a deliberate choice or an unintentional consequence, adding an element of intrigue to the film's history. Spencer Trace's sacrifices and unique approach to the role, along with the mysterious alterations in the film, contribute to the rich tapestry of the 1941 Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde adaptation. These behind-the-scenes glimpses shed light on the challenges and choices made in bringing this timeless narrative to life on the big screen, making it a notable chapter in the annals of cinema. Spencer Tracy's commitment to the role of Mr. Hyde in the 1941 adaptation of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde went beyond the screen. Eager to immerse himself in the character, Tracy turned down James Stewart's role in the Philadelphia story just to begin filming promptly. Despite initial concerns about Tracy's age, at 41, to play Jekyll, his dedication to the project prevailed. An intriguing fact adds another layer to Tracy's immersion into the character. At Clark Gable and Carol Lombard's second wedding anniversary party, Tracy showed up wearing his Mr. Hyde makeup. This incident underscores Tracy's deep connection to the role, blurring the lines between the actor and the character he portrayed. Meanwhile, behind the scenes, the studio had originally cast Ingrid Bergman as Beatrix Emery and Lana Turner as Ivy Peterson. Bergman felt the role of Ivy was more challenging and persuaded the producers to switch parts with Turner. Vivian Lee's decision also played a role in shaping the cast, as she turned down the role of Ivy to film that Hamilton woman. Spencer Trace's sacrifices and unique approach to the role, along with the mysterious alterations in the film, contribute to the rich tapestry of the 1941 Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde adaptation. These behind-the-scenes glimpses shed light on the challenges and choices made in bringing this timeless narrative to life on the big screen, making it a notable chapter in the annals of cinema. As we bid adieu to the enigmatic tale of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, let the echoes of its timeless narrative linger in the corridors of your imagination. Just as the characters grapple with the duality within, reflect on the shadows and light coexisting in your own story. Like a cinematic alchemist, this 1941 masterpiece distills the essence of human nature, challenging us to confront the dual facets that dance within us all. What resonated with you in this cinematic journey? Was it Spencer Trace's gripping portrayal, the haunting transformation scenes, or perhaps the haunting realization that the line between good and evil is often thin and blurred? Share your musings, your cherished moments with this classic. For every viewer is a storyteller, and every tale is a reflection of the self. As we traverse the winding alleys of introspection, let the flickering black and white frames of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde spark conversations within. Unearth your memories, unmask your thoughts, and let the narrative unfold not just on the screen, but in the rich tapestry of your own experiences. Thank you for embarking on this journey through time and celluloid with us. Your perspectives weave the magic into the celluloid canvas, breathing life into the frames of yesteryears. Until our next shared expedition into the realms of storytelling, remember, every reflection is a revelation waiting to be embraced. Gratefully crafted with passion and curiosity,